Hey guys, uh, today's project I'm going to be working on is the uh, Immersion RC Antenna Tracker. I've been wanting one of these for quite some time, but being so expensive I think, uh, well it can be if you buy everything at once, but I started piecing this together over the last few months and I think I got everything I need. So we'll get to work on this here shortly and uh, just real quick, uh, I'm sticking with one I'm sticking with 5.8 frequency only because I like the clarity. I like the uh, immersion transmitters. And 5.8 is really all I need for my style of flying. I fly short range and a medium range flying. With this tracker, I should be able to extend my flying a couple more kilometers easy, I think. We'll find out. So just real quick, I have the uh, ready-made RC pan and tilt. I got this used actually from a gentleman on the RC groups classifieds with forums. This is a new Immersion RC Dual 5800 receiver. This is the version 4. It covers up to 32 channels. And the newer Easy Antenna Tracker, this came out a few months back. They now come in a nice little enclosure. So it looks nice and neat actually. If you recall the old immersion trackers, it was just a simple LCD with a printed circuit board and clear shrink wrap. Kind of cheesy, I think, but we'll see if we can get this to work. People have had some trouble with these because they can be complicated, but once you get it down, it's pretty pretty solid. Uh, I do have a, an easy OSD from Immersion RC that's on a... It's going to be on an airplane, so that should make it kind of plug and play with this device. But I also have a, another project. I'm going to be using a Tornado OSD. And for that, I will need to add a tiny telemetry device in order to work with that. So that's a, a GPS sensor I have to add to that airplane. And that should make that, hopefully, work with this. And these plug directly into the... Um, Immersion RC video transmitters, so makes it real nice and simple after you get this to work, of course. So let me start putting this together. I'll take footage along the way and go from there. Okay, so this is where I'm at right now. I just got done mounting the, or putting together and mounting the pen and tilt device with the servos. I got those centered right where I want them. I have the tracker on one side, the dual receiver on the other side. So it's looking pretty good. I'm going to get these uh, wired into the tracker, get power to this so I can start making uh, adjustments, calibration to get this working. And these are just the stock antennas. I'm going to replace these, uh, one with the clover leaf, which I have already. I make my own actually, and the other one I'm going to put the uh, helical that's going to go up in the front. That'll be the main one pointing that I go into this one. I currently have a couple of uh, three turn helicals that I use on my goggles, but like I said earlier, I want to use this tracker just to go a little bit further. So I'm going to make a uh, five turn helical, maybe a ten turn. We'll see. And. I'll make that in the next few days. All right, well, let me get this powered on and mess with it for a while, and we'll go from there. All right, here is the finished product of the uh, Immersion RC antenna tracker. I have it under a servo test right now just to show you the movements and the rotations. I ended up making a 10-turn helical antenna, as you can see there. And I just did the line of sight testing at the park. I will show you that footage here shortly. It tracks the plane okay. Uh, when it, whenever it tracks, it does kind of skip around, I notice. It's not a nice, clean sweep like I was expecting. I don't know if that's normal for this tracker. But uh, I don't think it matters because once I fly straight out, it shouldn't be an issue. This is not made to crisscross zigzag in the park and track it, I don't think. But anyways, uh, I did mount a little keychain camera right above the helical so, so you can see the way it's tracking but overall I work pretty good and um, I just can't wait to take this out here in the future uh, for a long-range flight and see how that goes but 
Anyways, uh, any questions or comments, let me know. Uh, if you want to know how to calibrate this tracker, there's other videos out there that show you how to do the version 1. And it's pretty much identical to the version 2. So that's where I got all the uh, information from. So, Anyways, check out this uh, the uh, field footage. Okay, so here I am today. I'm going to test this uh, antenna tracker. We'll see how it operates. I'm going to have a GoPro on my head and I'm going to have this keychain camera right there. So that will follow the airplane as well. Well, at least that's the plan. We'll see if it works. Let's uh, check it out. Okay, so right now I have return to home activated. So it's just going to do circles around me. And this would probably be a better test for the end tracker because the tracker it's not good for quick flying around it's more for like long distance steady type aiming so but let's see how it reacts right now i'm just doing donuts right now So there is a little delay on the tracking. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I mean, it is moving in circles pretty fast, I think. So I guess that's kind of expected. But I think, like I said earlier, uh, flying long distance, like straight shots, the tracker should be ideal. Alright, so I think overall I think it's working. It is tracking like it's supposed to. And uh, I think that's a successful test, I think. The real test will come when I go further out. Alright, so there it is. The uh, version 2 antenna tracker from Immersion IRC. So far so good. Any questions or comments, let me know. Thanks for watching.